to Igor Radivilov of Ukraine, the fourth strongest qualifier. If he can hit the score that he did in qualification, then that's a score that's good enough to go into the lead. Usually these two vaults are very, very secure for Igor Radivilov. Well, that one certainly was. <laughs> he shows us what he can do right there with that drag Alescu. Efficient, really beautifully executed. And so precise. There's so much going on in the air. And to get a landing like that, it's phenomenal. And he has done it again and again and again. This year he's competed quite a lot in the World Cup Series. Done quite a lot of those vaults. He is an Olympic medalist on this piece. And he is, as mentioned, uh, just one of the most reliable and secure competitors on the vault. And he certainly is a vaulter who's known for innovation, known for creating uh, new things to try to get them added to the code of points. And it, sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Safe to say that Igor Radivilov is ahead of his time at the 2016 Olympic Games. Well, he might well be about to be ahead of the pack there with that score of 15, but... Uh... Very impressive, yes. At the 2016 Olympic Games, he, he competed a vault, tried a vault in the final that actually has since been banned uh, because it is believed to be too dangerous. Well, he might be about to become too good for the rest of the competition. That first fold of 15... And people are really getting worked up and excited in the Meta Arena for this second display from Igor Radivilov. Here he goes. Oh. Oh. Right at the conclusion. Just for a moment, that looked like that was down and landed and secure. Oh, and I don't think he can quite dear. believe it. Uh, he had it. It looked great in the air. Very efficient souk double pike and his shoulders were just a little too far back we saw it with